Hi, I'm Claire and I'm actually off to France for a few days, kind of a long weekend and I'm taking you along with me. I'm actually going to Lyon, which is my hometown where I grew up from the age of about six until uh, I went to university there and then after university decided to move to London and ended up staying. I still know quite a few people who live around here and that includes two people who are having a joint 40th birthday party this weekend and I thought it would be a great opportunity to come down and see a few people. I've just arrived at the Airbnb like an hour or so ago. Uh, I had some slight troubles getting here, getting the keys to the place and everything which you might have seen uh, if you follow me on Twitter but now it's all sorted and I got here and I took a shower and changed and I feel a lot better. I thought I'd show you around the Airbnb real quick because it's really really cute. As you come in the door there's this really quite wide open hallway situation going on with some glass doors to the kind of living room study area and then a really nice um, kind of big kitchen for one bed. We go through to the uh, living room where there's a nice amount of books which I appreciate seeing uh, and also a like nice desk with a pretty good very comfortable chair which is always good and you can see I've already got uh, my Chromebook out. I was watching The Sim Supply uh, to kind of chill out a little bit after all the troubles uh, getting the keys to the flat and everything and I've already uh, gotten my bullet journal out and of course I'm never really without my phone so there you go. And there's a nice couch, a nice coffee table all important Wi-Fi box. And then there's this adorable little terrace with a table on it that I think would be uh, quite nice to have breakfast on. I need to bring a chair out from the kitchen. Oh, there's a folding chair right here. And then if you walk the other direction from the living room, you've got the front door right here and a uh, little bathroom here. That's just a loo. There's not really any point showing you. Uh, but then you've got a really nice, quite spacious as well uh, bathroom. So uh, there's a towel that the Airbnb person uh, left for me and there's my towel that I brought so that like my ridiculous orange hair wouldn't go on everything. And then there is a little mirror. Hello! Let's get out of this really yellow lighting and into the uh, bedroom which also has yellow light but that's really kind of simple. A bed. I brought a pillowcase for my ridiculous hair so as not to stain the like white everything. And that's pretty much it really. It's a very lovely little space. And especially given the fact that when I'm not like going out to dinner with some friends or, you know, going to the party that I actually came to France to attend, I'm looking forward to taking a little bit of time to read and to like work on some script for future videos and like admin, inviting people to the podcast, all that kind of stuff. So I'm really like looking forward to using this adorable little desk space. Now, tomorrow I want to have a proper touristy day and like walk around the town. Hopefully the weather will be all right because when I arrived here, it was really bright and sunny and beautiful. And then like 10 minutes after I got into the apartment, I saw people walking with umbrellas. Obviously one of the things that I want to do is see as many people as possible when I'm down here. It's not going to be possible to see everybody because quite a few people are on holiday and stuff like that. But I am going to dinner with two of my old friends from high school. Like in five minutes I should leave pretty soon. Uh, but I'm so 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 excited to go and to see them and also I'm pretty excited about uh, this new dress from m and I'm not sure how well you can see but it has little white diamonds on black and I think it goes pretty well with this hair. Uh, I'm going with minimal makeup because it's uh, pretty warm out there and I don't want it to all melt so in case you're interested this is the like skater dress I'm wearing to dinner. Am I good at vlogging yet? Good morning, it is Friday and I'm making myself some breakfast. Sadly, I don't have any coffee to hand this morning. There is in fact a cafeteria in this apartment, but in all the kerfuffle last night with the handing over of the keys for the place that went slightly wrong, I forgot to buy ground coffee. So I'm going to have to 
remedy that for uh, the next few mornings or just go out and buy coffee. We'll see how it goes. But now I'm having some cereal and some juice. And I'm gonna go have that on the terrace. After breakfast, I hung out in the Airbnb for a little bit and then I got all my stuff ready and uh, kind of set out walking for the day without really much of a plan. The Airbnb that I'm in is already pretty central, but I wanted to go down to like slightly more touristy areas and just walk around because Lyon is just a lovely city to uh, visit, especially walking, I think. So I took a bus down from where I'm staying in Saxe-Gambetta to Place Bellecourt, which was an interesting experience because it is bus number 12, <laughs> which um, is the bus I used to always take down into town from my parents' house when I grew up here. That bus goes all the way into the suburb that we used to live, so uh, that used to be my ticket for coming into town when I was younger, so it was fun to be on that same route. And then I walked around Place Belcourt a little bit, and by the time I got there it was already 12, because I'm not very good at like actually leaving the house promptly in the morning like in any scenario. So I went by a little side street, pedestrian street in that area that's super well known for having all the restaurants and it's also super, super cute. So I stopped by there to uh, have a galette, which is a kind of savory crepe that you make with buckwheat flour, which is like just really distinctive tasting and delicious and obviously because the weather is lovely i had that on a terrace and i also was reading at the same time it was just a really really lovely lunch uh, i've been wanting to get ahead with my hugo award um, consideration reading because there's not that long left until the closing of the vote so i need to get a move on and read some of the shorter works that i haven't read yet after that I went to walk around the old city a little bit and that I was able to film quite a bit of, which I was super happy about because I think that part of town looks absolutely gorgeous. And also I was in this like really strange state of mind where this is a city that I know pretty well having lived here a long time, but also because I have not been back in way too long. It felt very strange to be back all of a sudden. And I think this was perhaps the most ridiculously well-suited day for me to be reading. And then there were N-1 by Sarah Pinsker, which is a story about the different ways in which lives can go. If you haven't read it or heard about it, it's a story that is completely bonkers in the best way, super meta. It is about Sarah Pinsker going to a convention of Sarah Pinskers from various universes. They are all variants of the same person. And the story reflects a lot on divergences in a person's life, decisions that you make that, you know, change the course of your whole life, basically. And I think I've made I mean, everybody has made decisions, but I think as a person who's, you know, decided to move countries, <laughs> those decisions are perhaps a bit more obvious when you look back. And I don't know, I think it was just really delightful to be reading a story that's already pretty damn meta in an even more meta way because I myself was in a similar situation. Anyway, after I was done walking in the old town, I crossed back over the zone a second time and uh, went to the Museum of Fine Arts because there is a lovely garden in the Museum of Fine Arts and there is a lovely cafe in the Museum of Fine Arts that has this really, really quiet terrace. There weren't that many people at all. It was shaded, it was cool, it was lovely. Um, so I had another coffee and read a little bit more. And then I started making my way back over to the Airbnb. And I was amused to see that the games workshop in town has not changed places. Although apparently now the shop is just called Warhammer. But this was one of those places that when I was a teen, I was slightly obsessed with. 
And now it's Starbucks time. I don't actually know how many Starbucks there are in Rome, like at the moment, but I know this one was the first that opened in town ever. I remember it being like a semi big deal when I was at university because it was an American brand coming into this new market and people thought it was weird and also like this is very different from the kind of coffees that we get here. If you've seen my Instagram, you might have seen a couple of pictures of me having like French coffee, very French coffee, basically a shot of espresso. <laughs> and so even the coffees that are actually, you know, hot coffee, like a latte or a cappuccino, which are not a frap, are very different from like what you get in Starbucks, so people think it's weird, but you know, I like a balance of both, and it is stupid warm outside, so I thought it would be really nice to uh, have something cool and very sweet to drink on my way uh, back to the Airbnb. I think I might still be a little bit shit at vlogging. I'm back at the Airbnb now, it is the evening, it's 10 minutes to 7 which means that I have to actually uh, get my shoes on and leave the flat again pretty soon because I'm meeting a friend for drinks at 7. One of my favorite things about Lyon is that it is a city but it's not a massive city. It's by no means a small town but it's not like Paris or London <laughs> where if you wanted to meet someone for a drink and they didn't necessarily live in the same area as you, it might take you like half an hour or an hour to get there. I got a message from my friend saying let's meet at 7 and you know I was in the queue uh, to pay something at a shop and it was going really really slow and then I got out of the queue and I got back to the apartment in like 15 minutes and I could put my phone to charge for a little while and now I'm going to walk out the door and in five minutes I'm going to be at the meeting point with my friend, which is just nice. I think it's a nice quality of life thing. Obviously London is fantastic and I love living there, but I would like it if it wasn't as excruciating to get anywhere in London, basically. So it's now Sunday and I'm out by the banks of the River Rhone in the afternoon. As you can see, it's ridiculously sunny and the banks of the river are just beautiful. They redid these uh, when I was at university. Uh, so it used to be kind of, you know, boring and just a little bit of a riverbank. And now it's got these nice pedestrianized bits. So I'm actually meeting some friends in like 10 minutes to go have drinks. Hopefully the framing is okay because I can't actually see the viewfinder with my sunglasses but it's too sunny to take them off. So there you go. I had a grand old time at my friend's birthday anniversary party that they were having uh, yesterday and the party went on well into the morning. I was staying there overnight. We ended up clothing the party at like four in the morning my fitbit was indicating like seven thousand steps from midnight to when i went to bed at four uh just from all the dancing i'm gonna go have drinks with some friends i have to meet them in like five minutes i'm gonna walk over to where i'm meeting with them well i sure hope i wasn't zoomed in this whole time if you'd like to see more from me you can check out a previous video on screen right now and if you haven't yet please hit the subscribe button that's on my face for a new video from me every week i've been claire thanks so much for watching and see you soon